over the last few weeks, we had nothing but the woke stuff, right? And it was quite beautiful to see everyone coming together, right? We had the Sony ponies, we had the Xbox Andes, the Nintendo gamers from all walks of life coming together. But guess what, guys? That ends today. Yeah, a lot of people, man. A lot of people are mad today, fellas, and it is not stopping. It's a war zone right now. The Sony Pony's not stopping. They're doing helicopters with their woolies, right? And, and I gotta, yeah, yeah, we got this video as well, guys. I gotta show you this as well. L definitely stop scratching your balls right now. Like this video for this Comedy Central that we have here. <laughs> Dislike the video if you don't like the salt. I mean, I feel like everybody loves the salt, right? But uh, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. You let me know. Xbox is going full multi-platform with flagship titles like Halo and Forza coming to PlayStation, says Windows Central journalist. Ow, but is this even real? We have a plot twist, fellas. Get ready for the plot twist. First of all, I want to show you this and we're going to talk about it. Okay, get ready. I think uh, you're going to climb extra day, folks. <laughs> Roll it. This today is officially the end of the console wars as we currently talk about them. <laughs> the concept of Xbox versus PlayStation is now just completely done because Xbox has just given up. A new <laughs> leak that came out today says that Microsoft is no longer interested yeah. in exclusives. Every game from Forza to Halo to Gears of War to Hellblade and even huge stuff like Starfield Literally, yeah. every single game that Microsoft is making, or is currently making, they're going to be putting onto PlayStation because that's where the profit's at. Yeah. PlayStation yeah. sells consoles, and yeah. more importantly, PlayStation gamers buy games. <laughs> the Xbox <laughs> ecosystem is just not profitable. But let's take a look at the leak okay. and some of the anger around it, let's because get into a it. lot of Xbox people are kind of pissed of course they would be of course when you are gonna uh, you know talk about a rumor as real news but on a real though like i feel like that uncle phil is like going around like a shark right now like a hungry shark and whenever a shark like smells blood it just goes for it right what, what i mean by this is that they put a couple of games on xbox and you guys remember right we had this rumor we literally had this rumor for years for years and a couple of months ago when we had this rumor it like really blew up right we started hearing that halo is going on playstation and then uncle phil had to do an emergency meeting Bruh. he'd done an emergency meeting calmed the sony ponies or not necessarily the sony ponies but the xbox andy's down because there were a lot of comments from uh, angry xbox fans saying that so i was right to sell my xbox series uh, i mean this is the latest comment but back then like a lot of people were like hey man i'm gonna sell my xbox i'm gonna say <laughs> it was really really funny uh, and this is why uncle phil decided to have an emergency podcast he done that calmed xbox andy's down and said that yeah bro like no 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 forza no halo uh he never really said that but he basically said that not all the games but some games i believe sea of thieves was one of them high fire rush if i'm not mistaken and there was one more correct me if i'm wrong uh correct me if i'm wrong in the comments some games came and what if uh phil spencer like just smelled blood and he saw like money coming like tsunami uh, maybe maybe now he's gonna be like okay let's drop all the other games too maybe 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 not let's see and i think i understand why Okay. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Dreamcast Guy, and I hope you're having a great day. If you could, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So, before anything else, look at this. I found a little kitty cat on my porch yesterday, and I managed to snag him and bring him in and get him all cleaned up. Look, look at this. i got to figure out a name for him. Oh, my God. Okay, sorry. Video game time. So, here it is. <laughs> Xbox Insider Jez Corden, who we've reported on quite a bit on this channel, hints that every major Xbox game, including Halo and Forza, are making their way to PlayStation. Now, it's interesting, I read his statement, he talked about it pretty extensively, and he said, hey, I think it's time for us to bring games to other consoles. And in yeah? fact, Phil Spencer, when they initially brought over these first batch of Xbox games, currently four Xbox exclusives have come to PlayStation. That was Hi-Fi Rush, four? Pentiment, Grounded, and Sea of Thieves. And oh, he said- oh, Yo, I thought it was three though. But before, okay, should I give you plot twist? Okay, plot twist number one. Let me actually give you a plot twist number one. We also get ready for the climax as well, guys. <laughs> So Jez responded to this report by saying, I was just stating my opinion for the record. They took it as a report. <laughs> yeah, modern day gaming, guys. Uh, plot number two. Should I give you plot number two? Okay, I'll, I guess we'll, I'll, I'll let it build and let you anticipate and, and we'll give you in a second. Wait for Good. it. Okay, I'm not... 
I'm not hey, going to rule out the fact that eventually more games can come to the platform. And what's crazy is that as soon as they brought these games over to PlayStation, they started selling. I screenshotted this just now. I literally took the screenshot literally two minutes ago. These are the oh, top no. selling games on the entire PlayStation storefront <laughs> right now. Now, a, a lot of this stuff is stuff you'd expect, you know, a brand new huge game like Stellar Blade. But what's wild is the fact that think about how many of these are actually technically Xbox games. Activision Blizzard. This is a Microsoft Studio game, yeah, even if it yeah, doesn't say yeah, that when you yeah, boot it up. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Sea of Thieves. Right there. Fallout. Right there. Like, Dang. three of the top ten games right now are actually Xbox, Xbox right? games. Yeah. And yeah. I think... Yeah, oh, I, I, I feel, yeah, it's a, it's a rumor, right? Like, don't take it as gospel. Don't take it as official news. Uh, I know Sony Ponies are doing helicopters with their release, understandably. Like, I mean, you cannot stop brothers, uh, okay? I, I'm just saying, folks. I'm just saying. And I know... The, I wish I could say psych right now, guys, but... But yeah, it, it, it'd be like that, guys. And, and this is why my dog uh, loves biting people, damn it. This is why my dog, my non-existing dog, this is not my dog, literally, literally. But but like, uh, but I also believe that Phil Spencer is like that, that hungry shark, right? Like he smelled blood. What I mean by this is that he saw like money coming in like tsunami, saw the sales, everybody purchasing games on the PlayStation. And, and, he, and Microsoft is probably like breathing down his necks and a neck. And uh, Phil Spencer is like, well, uh, time to put another game on the Xbox. But is it? even real the, this is a rumor folks but realistically like five years ten years from now i mean you'd never know right they can they can put it put it up and it's gonna be one of those things uh, and uh, and this is gonna be like well told you told you told you it wasn't a rumor it was actually real five years later it comes real i mean bro. honestly that microsoft has started to realize that if you want raw upfront dollars instead of just subscriptions to game pass playstation is the place to go well What's wild is the fact that after this statement got released now, for some reason, Jez Corden is kind of trying to backtrack on it. He's trying to claim, hey, I, I didn't actually say this. It's not, uh, it this is a little bit untrue. But his exact tweet is he said, hey, Xbox is bringing every game to PlayStation. And he said, oh, okay, that's just what I personally believe. I'm not stating this as a fact or a yeah. report. I'm just having it as a conversation. Yeah, like, boom, boom, boom. I mean, let a brother have a conversation, bruh. Like, guys, let Jess talk about it. It's perfectly fine. Because in the last few weeks, bruh, we had nothing but controversies after controversies. We had like whole lot of, uh, yeah, like the video if you don't wanna see characters this stunning and brave. Uh, dislike the video if you actually wanna see this. Yeah, yeah. You wanna see Abby, Abby, Abbyzilla, Abbyzilla ass cheeks getting pounded in 4K? Probably not, right? Probably not. So let me know where you guys at. But now, I, let, let brother fantasize about it, bruh. Like he was just assuming that, but uh. Later, they after he made those initial tweets, he further clarified in a series of Discord messages what he was talking Wait about. And he's again claiming this is out of context, but okay. he essentially said that they are trying to do stuff more like Steam, that Microsoft in the future wants to have affordable prices, more sales, more open to developers. And it's honestly, it sounds like if this is the direction they're actually going, if this is not just spitball take, it sounds like this is a good direction for Xbox. I think currently Microsoft has found themselves in a very unfortunate circumstance, which is that they're just not selling Xbox consoles. And yeah! I mean that pretty much explicitly. In that it's clear as day we are witnessing Xbox transition into a new model. Hardware is 31% down this <laughs> Yo, I cannot wait for Dirk Grigity and the Xbox Andy Central channels to actually <laughs> make videos on it. I, I love it, man. I love drama from the both sides. Sony Ponies, Xbox Andys. I love it, man. I love it. Like the video if you love it too, man. This is, this is... Right now we got no games. Right now we got no games. I, I know we got Helldivers. We got some games here and there, right? Stellar, Stellar Bleed as well, right? But but like outside of that, like just kind of dry, right? So this is uh, keeping a young buck uh, rolling. You feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you catch my drift. But, uh, if you look at the raw console sales numbers, nobody is purchasing an Xbox. Yeah. And every quarter, those sales go down. Like every oh, no. single quarter, it just drops and drops oh, and drops. Man. So it's baffling to consider the fact that baffling. they're spending so many billions of dollars on yeah. acquisitions. They spent almost a hundred. I mean, those suckers are making more money than God right now. Those suckers got like trillions dollars. Like Microsoft got like three trillion, bruh. 
Can a brother get two pennies though? That's all I'm asking. Dollars right? buying Activision Blizzard. They spent forty billion dollars buying Bethesda and stuff like that. As much as it's pumping up their engagement, more people are talking about Xbox. I don't think that's leading to payback. I don't think that's directly leading to more people investing in the ecosystem. The most powerful thing about PlayStation is the fact that it has become the default console. I don't think this is a controversial thing to say, but when you talk to people about where they play, where they're buying games, what they're grabbing next, they talk about pre-ordering it on PlayStation. Now, let's be clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, Alex, I cannot wait for Alex. I cannot wait for Derek Griggity. For Tink as well, I, I want all the Xbox Andes on the front line right now, bro. Like, this is content, bro. This is where the content's at. Okay, plot twist number two. Get ready for the climax. Yay, we also have climax. So, part, uh, plot number two. Yeah, I believe it will on this rumor meaning that like you know what one day maybe perhaps perhaps which i also believe like you know what realistically right like let's let's be real right in the future in the future like 5 10 20 years from now right maybe a like a like a century from now or something y you know that in that a specific scenario i can see it happen but man says that yeah i believe it will but they're stating it like it's a fact report when i was just having a conversation <laughs> wait for the climax wait for PlayStation the climax definitely doesn't have enough exclusive games that they're making sony is wait, what? clear playstation definitely doesn't have enough exclusive games that they're making sony okay. is incredibly dead silence they have not been definitely talking about what's coming yeah. next like what is naughty dog up to what is I don't know, Sony Santa Monica. Naughty, Naughty Dog is probably up to, you know what, Abby Zilla. We're probably going to get Abby Zilla in Stellar Blade 3 and get, uh, no, Stellar Blade 2, right? A and then guess what? There would be no Eve left. Because, because Abby Zilla is literally going to send uh, Eve to Stellar Blade Heaven, bruh. That's going to happen. So that's probably what they're cooking up right now. So Up to, you know, we have no idea what Sony's actually doing, but they have put themselves in a spot where if people have an Xbox in front of them or a PlayStation in front of them and they can only pick one, it seems like nine times out of ten, they're going to pick the PlayStation. So even though Sony themselves isn't pushing it, they're certainly winning anyways. And so Microsoft has to basically chase that cash. I think a lot of people high up at Xbox have realized that the writing is on the wall. If you want to sell games, you got to go where the gamers are already at. Yeah. Now, what I find gamers. interesting is that in this initial tweet, straight up, people are mad. When I first yeah. looked at this, this yeah. is when I first uh, opened it up. Uh, a lot of people... This, this, yeah, bro. Yeah, this, this is exactly why... This is exactly why my dog. People are straight up saying that they are going to sell their Xbox Series oh, no. X. I see a lot of people saying, okay, PlayStation has doubled the sales of Xbox. They want that audience. Some of these comments just range from completely upset to mockery like this one here. I'm glad I never bought an Xbox. Sony keeps winning GG. Now, clearly, this is like a stupid troll, but what's interesting to me is the fact that if you look at this, a lot of people are straight up saying, man, what the heck man. is the point of having this console under my TV if the other system has more games, more exclusives, more features? Yeah, I mean, let's be real, right? Like, if it one day it turns out, like, all the Xbox games go on the PlayStation, like, <laughs> these things, these things are going to have no reason to buy xbox under absolutely understandably the only reason would be like okay game pass right if game pass doesn't exist on playstation and, and you're not like a pc master race guy you don't want to spend like a two billion however much it costs right uh to build a nice ass pc with rtx uh, 3090 or 4090 nowadays right with 64 gigabytes of ddr5 RAM and, and the ssds and the the, the next gen uh, the next level uh, cpu as well if you're not about that life i i, I get it like i, I, I I also have a decent PC. I mean, I got RTX 3090, so uh, got a decent PC, but still, I'm like a console peasant, right? Like, I prefer playing on console, and especially if I ever want to stream, I don't want to, like, play the game at, like, ultra settings on the PC and also stream from the same PC. My PC is going to be sent to PC heaven after that if, if I keep pushing it over and over for hours on end, right? So this is why I prefer console, and consoles are easy to get. They're cheaper to get, and you also get good quality out of them for the price, for the amount of money you pay, right? So generally speaking, most people just go with consoles because it's just easy. You plug and play, and boom, that's it, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, like, if these seconds decide to get rid of, uh, or not necessarily get rid of, but put the gamepad, 
Pass will also on PlayStation, which for, for that, the chances are very unlikely, right? Chances are, I mean, anything is possible, but chances are unlikely. I can definitely see uh, Halo, although he this is a rumor, and I'm making very clear that this is a rumor I'm showing you guys that Jess Corden don't mean that. I mean, he just came out, uh, uh, but everybody's sharing that, right? You feel what I'm saying? So I'm making it very clear, this is a rumor, but realistically, though, I can see something like that happen in the next 5, 10, 20 years, or maybe a century from now when we're not around, right? right? No, we're not gonna be around to see maybe perhaps like this rumor coming true. Maybe it's gonna be one of those type of situations, but I can certainly see something like that happen. What I don't see happening is like Game Pass coming on PlayStation, but if that also happens, then there would be zero reason to buy Xbox, objectively speaking though. If they put all the Xbox games on PlayStation though, it's kind of Joe over, but if they put Game Pass on PlayStation as well, Joe over! It's Fineto, Denzo, also, also known as Ganzo, okay? So it's at that point it would be over. But Features more of everything, including a bigger player base, why don't I join the winning team? Now, I have seen a bunch of people talking about four games. Yeah. When Xbox first said that they were releasing these initial test project, these first four games, a lot of Xbox people assumed they said just four games. A lot of people, when Phil Spencer first said they're testing the waters with bringing games to PlayStation, they assumed this was it. Games okay. had to be out for two years or five years or some yeah. gigantic period of time before they would. If they were to do a thing where like, you know, Xbox exclusives uh, first come out on Xbox, yeah, Xbox, and a year later they come out on PlayStation, that's not gonna be a big deal though. Like, I wouldn't be mad about it. I, although I don't have an Xbox, so, but, but, but like, for example, right, like, I personally don't even care if God of War, Spider-Man, or any of the PlayStation Sony Pony exclusives comes out on Xbox, right? I, I, I'm just way too far gone, guys. Like, like, listen, I'm, I'm about to be 28, bruh, like, I don't even care about none of that. I got bigger problems to worry about, okay? I, if I was uh, 16 right now, oh, hell yeah, bro, I don't want God of War, Spider-Man, or any of these games coming on <laughs> Xbox, yeah. Yeah, but but like guys got bigger problems than just this uh, it's gonna be funny if it happened it's gonna be hilarious i definitely am down to see people uh you know cry and be mad over so we can like make content and we can laugh together and you know entertain uh each other and just kind of like because that's how i view it right it's just light-hearted sarcasm here and, and whatnot light-hearted jokes but some brothers definitely take it for real for real but i do understand like a, a, a middle ground right there needs to be a middle ground if phil spencer decides to really Put uh, Halo, <laughs> Halo. Although Halo is, guys, come on, that, this, this, yeah, it's Halo is Gonzo, bro. It, it's kind of they've done Halo dirty, right? Starfield, they've done it dirty as well, bro. But if they decide to put it on PlayStation, like I think it's fine. But then, like for example, they're likely also working on the next Halo game. If they decide to put that day one on PlayStation, and if you're an Xbox Andy and you're upset by it. I get it though, I understand, but if they decide to put that next Halo game a year after on PlayStation, I think then it's uh, not a big deal necessarily. That means that uh, Xbox games are gonna, uh, gonna grow even more, more people are gonna play collectively, right? Like gamers as a whole, not just Sony ponies and Xbox Andy's, but gamers as a whole gonna get to play uh, a more, they're gonna make money, everybody happy in that aspect, right? And if you have the Xbox, you also get that like a year exclusivity and, and vice versa same goes for playstation right if they were to uh, put like spider-man a year after on xbox yeah that, I, I mean i don't even care they, they, these suckers can put it day one bruh like like i said bruh I'm, I'm about to be 28 i'm pushing 30 hard i just hope that gta 6 is a good game and it's not woke that's all i care about right now bro like come on man. have a chance to go to playstation and so a lot of people are kind of clinging on that okay hey if four games are going multi-plat then maybe more stuff is. Like, look at this. They said four, just four games are going multi-plat. They have no plans for more. I don't expect to see any games coming to PlayStation. Uh, yeah. Well, you can tell this, uh, this is a tweet from yesterday, and I'm sure this gentleman is having a bad day today. I've been seeing a ton <laughs> of stuff like this. No. Literally hundreds of tweets saying a month ago, people were saying only four games are coming to PlayStation. Yeah. Now they're thinking, okay, how long until there's an Xbox showcase with PlayStation logos, logos all, all over, over the them. games? Brad. I think this is coming Brad. up very, very soon. There's a big Xbox showcase coming up. Oh, Cold Eastwood as well? No, man! Yo, I cannot. I, how did I forget about Cold Eastwood? 
Yeah, I need to see a video from the homie called Eastwood as well, man. Like, I love it when the Sony ponies get mad. I love it when the Xbox Andys get mad. Not, like, specifically, like, the fans, the fans, the fanboys, but, like, the Xbox Andys YouTubers and Sony ponies YouTubers, man. It's just different. That content just hits different. Like the video if you agree, man. It's just, just hilarious, bro. In just a couple weeks, and I think it's fascinating to consider the fact that this... Man, I think Jalen agrees. Thank you for subscribing, Jalen. Appreciate be it, a bro. time with an E3-style mega showcase of future X. Okay, he had to put the text in as an edit later on. Yeah, we get it, homie. All the Xbox fans are totally freaking out already, yeah. Xbox games where they might be talking about PlayStation. I do think there is at least a chance that they're going to see them like show off some big, huge title, and it'll say, here's the graphics on PlayStation, because yeah. that's where the games actually sell. I think part of the reason I'm just so intrigued by this is because it is weird to watch this happen again. Like, I'm about to turn 38 here in just a couple of days. But... What? What? No. Okay, I mean, okay, happy early birthday, my dog. But like, damn, the reason I'm shocked right now is because like, we got grown men taking it for real, for real. Tim Dog as well probably was a sarcastic tweet. But if not, man, like this looks crazy right now, bro. My birthday is next week. And I watched oh, next the week? rise of the Nintendo console wars. Nintendo and Sega clashing against each other. Watching them crush Atari back in the day. Then watching Sony and Xbox just bash head to head in the PS2 generation of the original Xbox and having the GameCube there. And then watching Sega go third party in the early 2000s was still just such a strange thing to yeah. witness. Yeah, I yeah. love the Sega Dreamcast. It's still my favorite console ever. But watching that sunsetting of Sega, watching them pivot to third party, I think we're about to see that happen again. I think this uh -oh. is the death of Xbox, as we currently know it. There's always going to be Game Pass. There's always going to be a way to pay a small fee to have access to their cap. Uh, okay, now, I know it sounds kind of hilarious. It sounds kind of meme -y. I don't think it's going to be the death of Xbox, but if they really, like, dead ass, decides to put, like, their games on uh, PlayStation, yeah, like, uh, the, 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 the probability or not the probability but the factor is gonna go down right like because like they're gonna give people less of a incentive yeah incentive that was the word that i was looking for they're gonna have they're gonna give people less incentive to buy xbox right if you have more incentive to buy people are gonna buy right if you give them less incentive they're gonna be like well okay well uh deuces i'm out i'm gonna buy something else but, but personally speaking, like, maybe that's just me, though. Maybe that's just me, right? Like, I, I really don't care if, like, PlayStation games come on the Xbox or Xbox games come on PlayStation. I'm just gonna buy a console that, that has the best price, that got, like, decent specs as well. Or, you know, for example, if Xbox is coming out, PlayStation coming out, I'm gonna go with the one that had good specs. Also, I guess, good exclusives as well, right? Or the, the controller. The controller's good. What my friends are buying, although, like, con uh, what's this called? crossplay exists right but i'm just gonna go with the console that i'm familiar with right now i'm familiar with playstation so i'm more probably gonna go with the next playstation when that happens right but if it turns out the next playstation is really really bad i'm just gonna go with xbox if xbox is really really bad playstation really really bad i got a decent pc i'm not just i guess start giving on pc baby that's where i'm at let me know your thoughts and guys this recently just happened we also had a video clip as well not sure if you guys were able to see that or not just a lot of drama. On the left, I got this video on the second channel. Yay, second channel, guys, second channel. Check out both of these videos, and I'll see you right there.